all right what is up everybody how have you guys been doing i hope you guys have been doing well um hope that you've been safe hope that you've been spending time with your family playing games making art whatever you guys like to enjoy um yeah i mean it's been a, a minute since i've done a video i just haven't had any inspiration or topic that i've been i really felt like i needed to do um, and I don't want to make half-assed content for you guys. I want to make sure whatever content I'm putting out, I'm passionate about it and that you guys can tell um, I'm not the best person in front of the camera. So I'm hoping that I can convey those emotions. And that's why I want to make sure that whatever I talk about for you guys, I'm extremely passionate about it. And I'm not just doing it half-assed to get views or anything like that. I want to make sure that the content that I'm ha like happy to share with you guys is something that I can fully get behind and that you guys can tell that it's very genuine on the camera. So sorry for my lack of videos um, over the last month, be it, but um, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, a little update, I got laid off on April 1st. Um, you know, fortunately, I've been able to get a little bit of help through unemployment, but um, yeah, now I'm just spending the time, you know, kind of relaxing, uh, playing some games, catching up on my back catalog while I'm stuck at home. Uh, but at the same time, uh, hopefully getting some small client work and building up my portfolio to, again, once this stuff clears out and um, things go back to normal, I can get a, a, another studio job. Um, but yeah, that's just update on what I've been up to. Um, again, I hope you guys are doing well and you guys are uh, finding inspiration and fun. Hopefully one day we can <laughs> all see each other again and hang out. And uh, I, look, I miss my friends and I look forward to hanging out some, with some of them. Um, around the area anyways so today's video is uh it's about the forger app uh it's a digital sculpting app that is on the ipad pro and um i believe it only costs about ten dollars and uh, with that ten dollars you get a powerful little program on this little machine i mean it's ridiculous how far technology has come and that it's getting smaller and smaller this program is amazing if you're somebody who really wants a uh, small form factor and zbrush like sculpting on the go the forger app is the closest thing you're gonna get when i got the ipad pro i wanted something that i can take to me take with me to coffee shops to meetings to to wherever i go and if i need to make art or want to do art with friends um, i don't need to be carrying around a laptop it's just something that i can slide in my bag have on me that's really light um, or even on a plane um, you know if I ever travel again it, it just allows me to be creative more freely on the go um, and and that's always my goal um, that's why I keep my camera system light and I keep you know my 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 work my workstation or my work setup light um, I still have my desktop I didn't get rid of my desktop this is just something instead of having a laptop I have that to do um, my artwork on the go uh, that being said, uh, let's go over some pros and cons. I'm going to go over the cons first because those are the least or I have the least cons about the program and um, and then we'll go from there. Everybody starts with the pros. Let's do with what's less. There's less cons as for me, for, for my opinion and for my case, then there is pros. There's a lot more pros for me and we'll go over them um, in, in, in a minute. So let's start the video. I'll talk to you guys soon. Alrighty guys, so uh, cons, yeah, uh, I would think the limitation, at least power-wise, is from hardware and not really software, because this software is utilizing whatever it can from the iPad Pro to the max, and I appreciate that. I'll say that I'm not the biggest Apple fanboy. I do not like Apple. I do not like their closed ecosystem. Um, it just, you know. I'd like to back open source and freedom and all the freedom to create um, and not having it locked behind the system. That being said, but when I'm trying to get mobile professional work done, um, unfortunately Android doesn't have anything on there um, that would allow me or to function correctly to get actual good work done. Um, the Forger app I've seen um, many of my friends in the industry use it and <laughs> I used to get jealous because I'm like man 
I want to do something like that on, you know, drinking coffee or eating breakfast with the family and just being able to sit there and doodle or even just be on the couch and watch a movie and, and sculpt, um, you know, not behind a desktop or in a chair that's hurting my tailbone, but to be able to lay down or even in bed, you know, wherever you, you just can just take it anywhere. And uh, I, I always wanted to play with it. And now that I have uh, an iPad Pro, um, I'm taking advantage of that opportunity and, and I don't regret it. It's well worth the money. If you guys have an iPad or an iPad Pro, definitely buy it. But no, depending on how much RAM you have in your iPad or iPad Pro will limit the amount of polygons you can have on in, in your file um, or when it starts to boggle down. Um, so that's a big dictation of the, the as, as powerful as the pro program is, um, the hardware does limit it. So um, the 2020 refresh of the iPad Pro just came out. Supposedly there's going to be another refresh at the end of this year. Um, as far as rumors go, I don't know if any of you guys know about that. If you do, please leave a comment below so I can be a little bit more informed about that. But if they upgrade the processor and they add more RAM, um, RAM's the biggest factor right now as far as the developer has announced or anything that he has said, um, then I will look to upgrade. But right now I'm maxed out on whatever I can use um, on the system. Um, I'm still getting a good amount of performance, but I do wish there was a little bit more. Even that being said, it's still a powerful program with some of the uh, features that it has in there. That's the first con. Second con, I would say, would have to be um, either your side menus or the menu where you do a lot of the functions at off to the side in the program. And um, I'll show it later in this video. But uh, the side panel is a little cluttered. There's a lot in every single section and it kind of gets a little daunting. But again, I'm still fresh to this program. Um, I'm sure once I get used to it, I'll be able to, you know, ch -ch -ch go between everything really fast. Um, but f from a beginner standpoint, um, the side menu is a little daunting and cluttered. But the basic user interface, that's amazing. You can, you know, pick up the program and just start sculpting and playing around. That makes sense. That's very user um, friendly. It's the more advanced features that it gets a little cluttered and a little confusing. But again, um, you know, the developers always working on making it better. So, but that's pretty much it as far as the cons. Those are my only two cons, uh, as far as my opinion goes. Uh, let's go over the the pros. Um, so first off, it's mobile. I mean, it's powerful and it's mobile. You can take it anywhere. I've already said this in the video. Coffee shops, in bed, uh, on the couch, on a plane, wherever. Like. <laughs> It's, it's just, it's freaking amazing that it's that pow uh, that it's that uh, mobile and powerful. Um, again, for what you can do with the limitations you have as far as hardware, specifically RAM, I, I, it's, this program can't be beat. I mean, the way it works, the way, how smooth it is, how it feels when you sculpt in there, it, it's, it's awesome. It's an awesome program. And uh, even though I said it can be underpowered, it is still very powerful. Um, so that is a big pro um, for me. Uh, other things is, again, the basic unit user interface to get into the program is very, very friendly. And you just pick up and go. You pick your shape. You have your brushes all set up. And you have a majority of the shortcuts you need just in the basic interface. Um, so that is very user, user friendly. And, and I love uh, that about it. Uh, another thing is it works well with other iPad OS programs. So if you're somebody who likes to use split screen, say you're somebody who draws in Procreate um, and you're used to using the split screen function, um, you can do that with the Forger and you can have your references up on the side while you have you know a, 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 a section of your iPad um, dedicated to Forger while your, your, your references are right there. The program I'm, I'm using, not, I'm not just using the gallery that's in the iPad. Um, I did buy uh, VizRef Pro, uh, which is like $4, and it's like a reference sheet collage maker, um, kind of like uh, PureRef, um, if you're familiar with that on your PC, Mac, or Linux machines. Um, it's basically an infinite canvas that allows you to compile all your reference images into one file um, so that you don't have to go through folders or multiple clicks to get to different images. Um, 
it just works well and it's a great workflow and then I can have my concept literally right next to the Forger app and uh, you know check back in between every every stroke or every few strokes however you work um, so I think that's amazing uh, other than that my last pro and my biggest pro at least for me would have to be that it helps me enjoy sculpting again it really slows me down right now the fact that I'm new to this I'm new to the software I'm really uh, learning the limitations that I can do um, it really allows me to enjoy sculpting and become a better artist that is more mindful with every stroke um, all my shapes all my forms whatever whatever it, it just it's kind of soothing to work in it uh, I kind of I lose track of time when when I'm sculpting with it and then uh, you know it's three o'clock in the morning I'm like oh crap I gotta get to bed um, but it really um, you get lost in, into it because it slows you down, it, it calms you down. I don't know if that's me just saying stuff out of my butt, but uh, that's how I feel about it and that's probably my biggest uh, pro outside of everything else is that it really allows me to enjoy sculpting a lot more um, to be able to do it so freely. Uh, but other than that guys, I highly recommend this program. Um, if you have any questions or you want me to do any more videos on Forger, I'd be happy to. Um, I'm just waiting to do any type of tutorial work on there or any um, any big videos on there when I feel a little bit more comfortable because outside of just the sculpting, you can poly paint slash texture your models in there. Um, you can auto unwrap, I think. And I think there's also an auto retopo um, function in there, which is awesome. It probably won't get you, you know, fully animatable geometry for low poly. Um, meshes but say you want to throw something in the Unreal Engine or you want to uh, just use any real-time work most real-time engines even though geometry isn't as much of a problem as textures are um, now um, you know you still need to optimize your meshes so you can make a high poly and a low poly mesh and I believe you can do some bacon in there don't quote me on that I'm still figuring everything out but yeah, there's a lot of functionality that you can do in here. So if you guys want me to study and research some more and make some more videos on Forger specifically, please leave uh, your comments below. Um, but yeah, have you guys used Forger? What do you guys think about it if you have? Again, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And other than that, I hope you guys are doing all right. And we'll talk to you later. Stay safe. Enjoy your time with your family, loved ones, or even by yourself. Make some art. Uh, play some games if you guys want I may be open to throwing my PSN number or my PSN account maybe we can play some Fallout 76 I've been getting into that a lot lately um, or some other games that you guys might want to play together uh, just let me know um, I'm always finding ways to connect make new friends and build this community so whatever you guys think I'd be happy to hear um, but yeah before this video gets too long I will talk to you guys later Peace.